Welcome to an example on how to use differencing to find a generating function for a sequence. Here we're asked to find the generating function for the sequence 4, 5, 7, 10, 14, 19, 25, and so on. The technique of differencing is useful when the first differences of a sequence produces a sequence in which we know the generating function for. In this case, the sequence of first differences is 5 minus 4, which is 1, 7 minus 5, which is 2, 10 minus 7, which is 3, 14 minus 10, which is 4, and so on. And we know the generating function for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on is 1 divided by the square of 1 minus x, which is why the technique of differencing is a good choice to find the generating function. From here, if we take the given sequence, 4, 5, 7, 10, 14, and so on, shift all the terms right one position and subtract, we get the sequence 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So even though this first term doesn't fit the sequence we want, it will not prevent us from determining the generating function. For the next step, we let a equal the generating series for the given sequence, which indicates a equals 4 plus 5x plus 7x squared plus 10x to the third plus 14x to the fourth plus dot dot dot. Next, we multiply both sides of this equation by x and then subtract. Multiplying by x will shift all the terms to the right one position, and then when we subtract, we should get the series that will give us the sequence 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So again, the next step is to multiply both sides of this equation by x. When multiplying the right side by x, notice the first term is 4x, which is why the terms are shifted right. Because there is no constant, we can place a zero in the constant position. And then x times 5x gives us 5x squared. x times 7x squared gives us 7x cubed, and so on. And now we subtract the two equations. On the left, we have a minus ax. On the right, we have 4. And then 5x minus 4x is 1x. 7x squared minus 5x squared is 2x squared, and so on. On the right side, if we focus on this series of x plus 2x squared plus 3x cubed plus dot dot dot, notice how there is a common factor of x which we can factor out, which gives us x times the quantity 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus dot dot dot. And we know this series inside the parentheses is equal to 1 divided by the square of 1 minus x, which in our case means this infinite series is equal to x times 1 divided by the square of 1 minus x, which gives us x divided by the square of 1 minus x. Now we can replace the infinite series with g of x. This gives us a minus ax equals 4 plus x divided by the square of 1 minus x. And now we solve for a to determine the generating function for the original given sequence. For the next step, we can factor a from the left, which gives us a times the quantity 1 minus x. And for the last step, we multiply both sides of the equation by 1 divided by the quantity 1 minus x. Distributing, we have 4 divided by the quantity 1 minus x plus x divided by the cube of 1 minus x. This is a generating function for the given sequence. I hope you found this helpful.